That's a great make, stuff by him. Making your money worth it. <laughs> as uh, He's definitely putting up numbers and making upsets in the bracket. But now we're going into our first match. We have TK Breezy versus Nobu. And I'm excited to see that TK is still holding on to Wii Fit Trainer, man. Not letting go of her. And a lot of people saying she's way better in this game, too. Yeah, I mean, she just has, like, a, you would assume with just, like, how fast and uh, offensive this game is that she would be more offensive. But she actually got her defensive mechanics buffed. Right. And I've heard people refer to her deep breathing as the limit. Oh, definitely. Just right. gives her a lot more power there. I I'm definitely seeing the uh, similarities between the two the two moves. They're both down Bs. Uh, right. And uh, <laughs> you start. charge up. <laughs> and right now, though, things not looking so good. Might want to get some uh, air in here, some deep breathing, and make something happen. Because 0 to 86 looking scary, especially versus Mega Man, who can make anything happen. Yeah, typically we'll see, like, the Wii Fit Trader setting up their traps, especially, like, using a lot of volleyball and then charging... Uh, they're, they're neutral be with the sunlight. But when you're playing against another projectile heavy character like Mega Man, those traps aren't going to work. Right. It's scary stuff right now. He cannot get on the stage here. Oh, Ooh. but the charge shot does connect. Fortunately for TK, he's still hanging on to that stock. Yeah, I was going to say lucky uh, angle on it because that definitely could have been the stock right there. But 136 to 0. Hey, he's still got the stock on the board and we got some damage now. We're in there. That's right. No zero to death on TK. Landing no, in there. Not able to get the second one to convert. Yeah, I've seen that quick combo start up, get a couple of those into an up air, and ooh, scary back air coming through, but still holding on to that stock. Oh, you wanted to charge that up and probably hang on to it to get on stage, but yikes from so low. Yeah, he did have the crash bomb on him, but just drifting so down, so far low, it wasn't going to be a threat to actually, like, make him stay spike mm -hmm. or put him into the blast zone. So it's actually really smart from TK. He's going to take that hit, you know, you might as well take it in a good Yeah, position. get back to the stage. All right, that back air, still not able to take it. TK with the best DI of all time? Oh. Is that correct? Yep, I mean, commentators <laughs> watch like good players DI all the time. They should definitely know how to do it themselves. Right. Oh, finally going to get that Yeet back throw and get him out of here. I did like uh, he kind of held on for a second there with that clank hit. Uh, able to not lose his stock right away with the grab. Definitely going to get him out. Okay, now we see a couple of pellets into the Metal Blade coming from Nobu. Okay, we're finally getting some damage in here. You know TK likes to play that back game. He's finally getting some projectiles. Uh, the charge shot coming through in a back air. Able to take it? Maybe yeah, false DI. I don't know. Yeah, it looked like he kind of just waved that right back into the into the blast zone at the end there. I'm not sure what that was. But deep breathing coming in clutch for TK. All that damage that just did to him, though. And he's still trapped off the side of the stage. I mean, that has just been the name of the game in this entire uh, game one so far. I mean, less traps in this game are just as strong as they have been in previous iterations of the game. If you can just keep your opponent at the ledge, you essentially eliminate them from playing the game. Right. Which just means you win. Yeah, just having your opponent in a disadvantaged state, whether they're above you or off stage like TK has been for the majority of this game one, man. Yeah, we even saw that Woo! clutch uh, ledge trap into, or ledge trap into the back air. But Yikes. Us, the hard knuckle finally landing for Nobu and sending TK down. Yeah, you saw him trying to get the right hit of that the entire time, but unable to until finally there. Going to be able to take out TK's second stock and keep him on his last here. Now, I had been hear hearing that uh, Leaf Blade actually got buffed, or the Leaf Shield. Um, but from what I understand, you can't actually do anything from it. Whoa, that's unfortunate. <laughs> He's able to get these lemons in, though, into this back air right here. And, yeah, it's just like every time TK wants to approach or fade back, it just feels like Mega Man has way better options. Like, Nobu is making all the correct choices. Mm -hmm. I mean, making quick work of those, of those volleyballs and uh, sunshots. Great. Right. It's like even if he takes a hit by one of them, I mean, he is able to make a trade a majority of the time, and that's going to be in his favor, uh, seeing as he's up a stock. Right. You can just see Nobu already setting up the ledge traps as TK just slowly fades back into the ledge. Yeah. Oh, and the walk forward with it. Kind of just working him wherever he wants him to go. Ooh, a little bit messed up on the deep breathing right there. Yeah, he tried to sneak it in, but Nobu just started to approach. You know, you can't, you want to get your deep breathing in, but just like Limit, you can't charge it in an unsafe uh, position. Exactly, right. And TK understands that for sure. Scary spot right here. And just the slowly wrecking up the damage on TK with the pellets. Those lemons really doing him work. Oh, and I like the crowd right there. Just dodge the lemons. No problem for him. All right, but how can he get? Oh! Another hard knuckle from Nobu. Yeah, that's coming in. That, that's been quite a problem. Whether it's hitting him off to the side or just directly into the blast zone, it's not looking too good. Right. Well, I know TK has been working on his uh, his Wii Fit a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, after the free Prime Saga event, the Zero Suit Bracket, uh, he was actually running a bunch of sets with some of the other Wii Fits that we have here at the event. Okay. And they were just like trading tips and secrets. And one thing that TK Breezy had noticed and that he shared with me is that he does not use side B and O. Okay. Like in comparison to the other Wii Fits, like that soccer ball or that volleyball is always on screen. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought he was going to go male Wii Fit trainer, maybe a character or, you know, a, a gender counter pick. I don't know. 
Is that, do they call that a color counterpick if you change it from fe male to female? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a gender counterpick. <laughs> All right, so he's not going to do that, though. We're hanging on to the female Wii Fit trainer. She's going to be able to clutch us out. You got the back air on landing. It's so far so good in the lead. Time him out. Come on. Oh, 7.50. Let's go. <laughs> this is definitely one of those matchups that, like, I would consider timing him out for. Because, I, I mean, this is just really tilting to lose to. You try to approach, you get hit by the limit. It, it uh, does a little bit of, you know, knockbacks and can't go forward anymore. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't play the fade back game either because he has a ton of projectiles of his own. That's right. Even if you can get close quarters, they, we see that leaf shield coming out. And it exactly. does have an active hitbox. As you can see, just putting Ooh. a lot of shield pressure on the so DK. Gosh. Yeah, it's like, what option do you have? You can't shield, can't fade back, cannot approach. Uh, edge guard? I mean, get nope. him on stage <laughs> is definitely the answer. I mean, it's an answer for a lot of characters, but Nair sure. is going to be a, uh, still going to be a Ooh. great combo starter, as you can see. Yeah, that looks great. And he was able to get his deep breathing in here. Yeah, now it's going to be go time for TK. 70% with uh, on Mega Man. Mega Man being like one of the heavier characters, still going to be kind of difficult to kill. I do like that down air he swung right there to get him off of him and just be able to try to get to the stage. And, oh, I, I, man, he tried to do a different angle right there to sneak onto the ledge so he didn't get down but the Mega Man's still able to get him. Yeah, and unfortunately for TK, no tech um, available. Like, just didn't even have the opportunity yeah. to. And you saw him come up with the Nair right there, but the Leaf Shield knocking it out of him. There's just so many things that put him into a little flinch, and he cannot do nothing about it. Even using the Hard Knuckle to make it back to the stage, that's, something that, that's an option that we don't typically see from Mega Man. Usually, they'll resort to their Leaf Shield or um, or their forward air. Yeah. Very spot for TK being down an entire stock and up 105%. And a player like Nobu is so slow and methodical. He plays it perfectly. He doesn't swing those, you know, wild up Bs or up tilts or anything like that. I don't think we've seen a single up tilt from, yeah. from Nobu. And when you're playing against a character that you just continuously knock them away off stage, there's no point to use a move that's so risky. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's playing this just fine. Okay, Great so up air. Yeah, sneaking in the up air and TK able to get his deep breathing going. Calm himself down just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, the triple parry coming in. Yeah, just sending a little bit of message, blades. man. Yeah. All right, what can he do with that, though? Got to extend this just a little bit. Hold on to that momentum from the stock he took, but it looks like Nobu's taking back over. Throwing him off the stage, and how can you get on? Okay, throwing out the soccer ball. Going to put Nobu away from the stage, allowing TK to make it back. Saluting the sun, but while it does heal up a little bit, the active hitbox doesn't connect. And you see some adaption coming through from TK. He's kind of fading back and going for Nairs. And when he, ooh, uh, I was going to say he had the really good spacing and he wasn't swinging it at a, you know, unsafe opportunity. But right there he did. Going to lose the stock for it. And Nobu just pulling the trigger. I mean, Nobu is, like you said, methodical. He's really Absolutely. picking, piecing away that what TK has been throwing out. Yeah, it's sort of just, he just controls a portion of the stage. And if you're within that range or even a little bit outside of it, what can you do? Very true, very Lima true. trainer needs to get over there. The only thing that she can do, maybe throw that soccer ball, like you were saying, maybe he doesn't side B enough. That might uh, come in clutch here if he can figure that out. But I feel like he was side being like, a lot in game one. And right. Nobu was just like, you know what, fine, we'll play the projectile game. And then he won that game as well. Exactly. It does look like TK is doing a lot better in the close range game. Maybe if he can just stay in Nobu's face. Great back air right there. Yeah, I think baiting in Nobu to throw out aerials uh -oh. Uh -oh. is going to be the option that, that TK needs to go for. Yeah. Ooh, landing on top of the ledge. Very unsafe. Yeah, you can tell that was missing because he was kind of probably shook by uh, Nobu coming out looking like he was going to get the down air. Mm -hmm. TK's lost a few stocks to that, so yeah, he kind of shook up onto the stage with that up And the forward air connection, ah! we're going to see a back throw from Nobu, but the mass, TK's still living! I'm so surprised that wasn't an up till I thought he had the read! <laughs> but he's okay, he's going to get back to the stage, care if Nobu yeah, maybe is! Uh, Nobu able to just get nice. some good DI, but Mutual B is going to close out that stock. TK Breezy still living here in game two. All right, what you know about these crazy deep breathing Wii Fit combos? That ball still had an active hitbox. Mm -hmm, that starts with a volleyball. What's next? Okay, he needed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Fourth throw. Wii Fit Trainer has no problem staying off the stage, too. I feel like TK could have played a little bit more off stage game, but he knows more than I do about this character, you know? Yeah, I mean, Ooh. just already getting hit with like two hard knuckles, losing stocks that way, I, I would be yeah. uncomfortable staying off stage for too long, too. Definitely makes sense. Oh. Smart! Gonna yeah. go high for it, knowing that Nobu's gonna try to come down. We got 58 on the board right now. Yeah, we can get some deep breathing coming Woo! in from TK. Oh, we tried to go for it, but sending up another up there. That was a much smarter move. Send him out. Get that. your deep breathing. Ah, he was unable to get it perfectly. Maybe a little bit shook seeing this comeback that he's making. Oh, the up air going to whip. And TK resorting to just retreating to the ledge. Very smart. Gets your invincibility reset. 
Yeah, I like how he does the stand and then he'll jump or something like that, knowing Nobu's going to try to dash him for the grab. Because like we said, Nobu doesn't go for these randy options, so you don't have to be afraid of an up tilt or something like that. Yeah, but I, I, I get so nervous whenever Nobu is on the platform close to TK because he's been yeah. landing a lot of falling aerials yeah. onto TK. Can he get on? Barely, barely. Oh, ah. He went for the ledge drum, but TK able to escape. And now Nobu looking for the kill. He's got, he's definitely zone, uh, zoning in on it. Yeah, TK bringing this all the way back, man. He's, don't get hit by that. Whoa, oh, he's Every parry in the world. If he can make some. Oh, he poked him. <laughs> he poked him in the chest. The comeback of a lifetime. What did I tell you? What do you know about the deep breathing reefing combo comeback? Man, just look at TK's face. He had to work so hard mm -hmm. just to bring that game back. I saw the fist pump pop off. Y'all might not <laughs> saw that, but he was a little happy about that. Go ahead. Yo, TK popped off? I, I don't it. believe it. It, it was just a mini <laughs> one. Like, a, okay. <laughs> I want to see this man jump. I mean, okay, now doing some RL deep breathing. <laughs> yeah, do that. I mean, that's actually a really good idea. And I wonder if players of Wii Fit Trainer actually take that into consideration. Like, do a deep breathing as your character and in real life. Mm -hmm. Just kind of get your mentality back together for a second there. I mean, it does such a great work just resetting yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it can actually, like, be a game changer if you do like, deep breathing during your set. Yeah, man. I know some people are able to do that. Like, I don't know. Maybe TK can. It looked like he pulled it together in that last game. You know he was a little bit shook. We saw him drop a couple of uh, deep reasons that he could have had um, with enough space away from Nobu. But he pulled it out, man. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the first one that we saw, like, that actually kind of baited in Nobu was, in fact, a bait just to get Nobu to continue that, Yeah, I was thinking him. that as well. Like, he, when he dropped it, he immediately went into shield grab. And how many parries did he hit in that? Oh, that was, like, four parries easily. Wait, Nobu with the, with the swap. Interesting. That's right. He was very comfortable playing the range game and now he's gonna he's just gonna double down on the range game <laughs> right and I, I don't know about this one because this this character quite a bit more uh gimpable than Mega Man, of course and tk i've seen him do it to a lot of players he is but i mean i've seen the terror that is that is the belmont for sure if you can't get close to close to simon or richter then it's just game over as you can see tk you know only sitting at 60 80 percent still able not really able to get close to Tanobu. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like TK should be okay with that because in the last matchup, he wasn't able to do it either. Nobu, on the other hand, I wonder what it was about Mega Man that he wasn't feeling from that last game because he barely lost. I mean, TK did make a crazy comeback on that last stock, but still. Well, it may just feel like that TK did make a, a lot of adjustments to his Mega Man. And right, the download. To, exactly. But the other thing I'm expecting that Nobu picked the, the Belmonts for is just for the ledge trap. We're going to see a lot Why? more axes that cover the ledge. And then we're going to see, ooh, the Holy Cross. But we're also going to see Holy Water at the ledge. And, of course, if TK ah. gets caught into it, it's going to be an S smash, and that's going to be TK. Okay, all these, like, escapes right now, barely avoiding death in so many situations. But TK, like, we saw in the last couple games, he's been avoiding these ledge trap situations until uh, getting, once he gets his feet on, that's when he loses his stock, I swear. But while he's off stage, he's okay. I mean, that, that may just be the... The motion that TK needs to do is just take his time getting back to the stage, really abuse uh, how much time that we Fit can stall. Right, she can stall for quite a while with everything that she has out there. And then Hula Hoop back on. All right, volleyball coming through. Open oh, landing up there, and Nobu taking back control of the stage. Oh, so you got to be so careful, especially at the ledge when you get hit by that Holy Water. That's just one S smash away. Right. All right, we're going to get the throw in here. Deep breathing coming in. Trying to just take a second here and set something up. Yeah, here we go. We got the volleyball, but everything that Belmont has, man, just knocking what she has away. Belmont uh, does have arguably better projectiles. For sure. <laughs> the power of the volleyball really coming in for TK. I mean, he's poking. Oh, but not able to sneak in that down air. Nice. I love that because, I mean, what option did Belmont have? He can't air dodge. He would be super dead, so. That's right. I don't think, think he had his second jump as TK was able to, like, hit him back off stage. Right. All right, TK's okay. Stand is slowly at the ledge. It's so scary to do that, too, knowing the Holy Water setup is right there. But, but it does look like that Nobu doesn't, isn't as, uh, doesn't excel as much as putting the Holy Fire right at the ledge. Right, yeah. He's, he's always giving TK, it. exactly, he's giving him a little bit of space, which is allowing TK to make it back from these ledge traps. And you saw right there, TK slowly but surely fought his way in there and was able to get a clean 35%, but as soon as he's knocked away, man, look at the situation he finds himself in. Scary stuff. He just needs to not play this range game versus him whatsoever. Oh, accidentally jumping into that holy water, gonna get up smacked with the back air too. Oh, and now he's back on the off the stage. That's right. We see the, you know, the same situation that we've been watching for majority of these three games. 
Oh my goodness, this looks, I mean, if you're getting tilted by Mega Man, imagine this. Oh, and what's even worse is like, at least Mega Man is quiet. Belmonts are talking trash the yeah, entire no, time they're throwing this. everything. Here you go, take yeah. that. Take this, take that. <laughs> okay, nice crouch. Wasn't able to get a punish off of it, but you know, send that message. And I like how many clanks he's getting with this stuff too. Oh, but the holy water does connect and we see the follow up from Nobu. Nobu, of course, setting up to take this set. Oh, he can just F tilt the volleyball away? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, TK, man. He's just been off the stage the entirety of this set, but not able to really make it work in his favor like you sometimes see Wii Fit's able to do. There's just way too many projectiles in his way. And then once TK... Oh, oh my. okay. It was so slow that was when he attacked my <laughs> We didn't even get the critical hit. <laughs> Maybe it was like, I'm done, okay? Yeah, I am done. It is very taxing playing against the Belmont. Mm -hmm. We have, mm -hmm. um, God, what is his name? He used to be Orochi Wolf. Uh, he changed his tag to Nitro. Uh, okay. was a Sonic main. Mm -hmm. So he's very comfortable making testing people's patience. Okay, but yeah, we just sure. get to see like just how much uh, resources that they're ex able to expend at yeah. the ledge and just trap over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, he, he did a great job with that. I mean, it didn't look like TK was able to move it.